Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana's channel, my name is Shanks and today we are finally able to continue with the Age of the Ring campaign for Battle for Middle Earth 2 The Rise of the Witch King on the mission Veratov, in which Aragorn will try his best to save Frodo Baggins. Before further ado, let's get it started. This was the great watchtower of Amun Sun. We shall rest here tonight. I'm going to have a look around. Stay here. Look at this graphics ladies and gentlemen, that looks dope, am I right? So we have Strider, also known as Aragorn, the King Elessar himself, and look at this design. Dude, look his face, it looks so realistic to me. Find tracks of Dunedain presence near Weathertop, I got you. We have King's Foil, which is the heal. We have Elvin Gifts, which is making our hero stronger and hitting like an absolute truck. And we have also Hide, which is very similar to the Enshrouding Mist from the Rise of the Witch King, for example. This bleed is of Arnor before its fall, my kin must be close by. And yeah, that's the place where we need to lead our Aragorn with. And by the way, Age of the Ring, smoke is rising, I must investigate. Um, by the way, Age of the Ring is planning to release the campaign for the two towers very very soon, because the campaign we are playing right now is based on the Fellowship of the Ring. And I need to be done with the campaign of this movie before they release the second one. <laughs> I'm excited, because they are doing a really great job. Look at this graphics, look at this um, work they were actually putting into this campaign. Looks dope, am I right? Okay, so we have Aragorn, Battle Stances, he's also able to fight with the bow here, unlike in normal BFME games, and... My friends, what evil fate has befallen you? Look at this... Corpses. Uh oh, they are coming. Let them come. Survive the attack by rising to the nine. I got you. Let them come. You want to play a game? I will play with you. But attack Aragorn, please. Oh, Aragorn is mad, guys. Look, he's looking. Oh my goodness. Look at this flash damage. Holy moly. <laughs> he's hitting so hard, dude. I mean, they are not even running away. When Aragorn would scream like this to anybody else, they would run. But those are tender. Rising to the dine. Oh man, he's only screaming. Looks like he doesn't have, he doesn't know how to talk. Be gone, fell beast. Be gone, fell beast. I mean, are you drunk, Aragorn? This land lies under dark spell. I mean, he was literally saying, "Be gone, fell beast." What are you doing? Tomatoes, sausages, nice crispy bacon. Put it out, you fools! Put it out. That's nice. Oh, oh, guys, they are coming! They are coming! Run, hobbitses, you sneak little hobbitses. I mean, poor Peregrine took. He can never have his second breakfast, guys. Oh, the Nazgûls. Aragorn, hurry up, please. Hurry up. You gotta be fast. I mean, we have Atelas, you know, as Aragorn's spell, and we have also the heal from the spellbook, protect the hobbits from the ring raids. Just like in the films, pretty much. It's gonna be nice. Uh, but is this gonna be it? Are we only supposed to protect the hobbits and this mission is done? If this is gonna be the case, I'm gonna play another one because that's gonna be a really short one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we have height, but I believe that's gonna be kinda useless to use it right now, to be honest, because, you know, it's a tiny spot and they will get the chance to see us. Stay close. Aragorn is here, Frodo is lying on the ground. With aggressive stance to make him hit even harder. And he has also now his uh, second weapon. Just like in the films that, uh, you know, the torch, the torches. Give us the ring, hell no. You want the ring? You gotta kill me first. Look at Aragorn, look at the cinematics at the bottom left side of your screen, guys. Aragorn is so strong, actually, that's crazy. He's like three-shotting those Nazgûls, no big deal. Look at this one, two, three, okay, four shotting him. And you can't kill them because they are always escaping with like zero HP when they are burning again, just like in the films, pretty much. No, the ring is mine. Look at this design and graphics, that looks so dope. Alright. Aragorn is screaming all the time. Aragorn, you need to really chill a bit, my friend. You need to chill a bit. Okay. I'll take him. Yeah, Aragorn. <laughs> Look, he doesn't even take any damage. And by the way, we are also using the hardest difficulty of this campaign. 
But Aragon is just extremely tanky against those ring raids. Are we done yet? Or are more gonna come? I mean, they make a mistake. They sent those ring raids one by one. If they all would come, that's gonna be a different story. Trust me on that one. And in the meantime, Frodo Baggins is just like, you know. <laughs> Look at some. <laughs> He's almost dead, you know. Oh, okay. Maybe I regret what I just said because now they are all coming. Holy moly. I jinxed myself. I mean, we have heal. But can we hit them at the same time? Yes, we are hitting them at the same time. Because Aragorn has splash damage. And when they are grouped like this, we are able to hit them at the same time. We'll watch this now. Okay, we're gonna use heal here. Oh, that's not heal. That's heal. Oh my goodness, I almost lost him. Because they have different pictures here, unlike in normal BFME, but we are able to kill them all. That's great and that's nice. Yeah, we need to bring him to the to the elves, pretty much. And now he's poisoned. You can see he's taking damage over time. Let's go downside. Rodo is poisoned and will slowly lose health. Escape Vettel top and find medicine. All right. No problemo. I mean, we have Aragorn's Atelas, and also this is gonna be up very, very soon. This way we have so much sustain. And we should be able to keep our photo baggins protected. Just in case something goes wrong, I would recommend you guys to save a couple of times during the mission. Because if you fail the mission, you have to start always from the beginning of the mission again. And that's gonna take you some time. Oh, look at this. Trolls. Turn into stones. Looks great. Looks nice. I mean, Aragorn is so much faster actually than those... Uh, and those hobbitses, as Gollum would like to call them. Sam, do you know the Athelas plant? Athelas? Kingswell. Kingswell, ah, it's a weed. It may help to slow the poison. Hurry. All right, so what is happening with my mouse? Uh, find at least five bu uh, bushels of Kingswell to slow Frodo's poisoning. I mean, let's use Athelas first. Just, you know, ah, he's healing up, that's nice. And in a situation like this, where we need to find stuff, the best thing to do is split our um, heroes. You know, we can send Samwise Gamgee to the bottom, to the right side, I mean. There is one more I see. And Aragorn can search the top left side, maybe. Oh, there is another one? Yeah, there is another one. Let's go there. Aragorn, Araton's son, King of Gonzo, King of Men, also known as King Elisar. I mean, uh, the characters in the Lord of the Rings, they have so many names. Like, for example, uh, Gandalf. They call him Mifrandia. Oh! I mean... Uh, Aragorn, not everything what you see is a Felbius brother. Come on. But where is Sam Samwise Gamgee going? Is Frodo dying? No, he's fine. He's fine. Let's kill this troll and also creep the lair. This way we get we can get some money at least. That's great. You are finished. You are finished. And now he's talking even to a lair. Aragorn, the lair can't answer you, my friend. Please, guys, let him know need? how much you need. <laughs> Aragorn is so funny. But it's better than him screaming all the time. Uh, the only thing in compared to BFME 1, Aragorn is hitting quite slowly. In BFME 1, I think he's the strongest. Like uh, In BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King, he's also not bad, but by far not as strong as he is in BFME 1. Trust me on that one. In BFME 1, he's like a pretty much like a one-man army. But he has the Anduril Sword from the Spellbook of Rohan. I mean, we need to find five, am I right? And... Uh, yeah, where are the other... Oh, there is one I saw in the last possible second. They are shining bright like a diamond. And maybe I need to zoom in a bit more because I can't see anything. Okay, we are having now four. Frodo is still kind of okay, I guess. And where is the fifth one? The last one. Am I blind? Because I can't see it just yet. We took this one here. Uh, maybe here, around this side. Let's see. With... Samwise Gamgee, the Gardener. Aragorn, um, maybe you can search here. And yeah, I don't think we need to go upside though. I don't think that. It's a dark and he's also taking damage over time. I mean, we have heal, I guess. Yeah, it's awaitable, right? So it's fine. And by the way, it's so hard for me to get used to it. Because in BFME 1, guys, when you are playing BFME 1, everything what you want to activate, you activate with right click. We took, we found it 
somehow. Okay. Aragorn. The enemy is near. You cannot outrun them, but the force of Brunin is close. Frodo, let us fall off. Bear you at the speed at the crossing. To the crossing. My kin awaits you there. And yeah. Just in case. Look at this. Just in case you don't know, it was Glorfindel who was saving Frodo and not Arwen. But now we are back to Arwen. Against the ring raids. If you want him, come and claim him. Indeed. Let's give them hold ground stance. This way they're gonna become tankier. And uh, Arch is behind, always. And they can always use the aggressive sense too. Um, you know what we're gonna do now? Just in case something goes super wrong. Because again, if you fail, you will have to start the mission from the beginning. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna save the progress just in case we might fail. Uh, so we don't have to replay the entire thing again, you know what I'm saying? Very important, it's gonna save a couple of seconds. And, you know, better safe than sorry. That should be the motivation and the motto of your life too. Okay, Arwen has also Flood, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's called different uh, Loud Waters Fury. And she needs, to be, she needs to be only level 4 for this one. She has also the Light of the Elven Star. Or Even Star. Should be Elven Star, it's a misspelling, I guess. Uh, from the makers of this mod. And uh, Glorfindel is leading Aragorn and the Hobbits to Rivendell, pretty much. That's the plan. Okay, let's make some resource building, shall we? To get some money, you know how it is. And we can also recruit some units. Let's make some archers, get this to level 2. This way we will get the chance to get some more stronger archers on the field. We can peel back a bit. Uh, that's actually a lot of units coming. Let's use the mist to make them a bit weaker. And uh, maybe you can trample them down. She has also... I mean... You can also buy heavy armor on them, but I think that's not necessary. Let's use the weapon song. When you lose the hero, you are done, though. So keep that please in mind. Alright. We are getting some... Oh, we are recruiting the wrong units. Those are actually... Uh, no... Are this no... Archers? No, we are actually recruiting some... Oh, my bad. I thought really that we are able to recruit some archers because archers are better in a situation like this. Do we have a well or something? Yeah, we have the well of Celebrian. Let's use this to regenerate the HP over time. And these guys are just sending more and more units to us all the time. That's an archer battalion. That's nice. We will need more of them as soon as possible. And this guy, this builder, can actually build some more lumber mills or whatever these resource buildings are called. Rivendell Orc Orcart? I guess. Let us go. Arwen, maybe you can spot a little bit. I mean, they have, they have so many units actually. Let's maybe use heal here. Maybe it was a bad idea to use the heal here, to be honest. Do we have a statue too? Uh, the answer is no, but we can build the second well just to speed up the healing, you know? And once again, the backline archers, they can always have the aggressive stance. The frontline can have all ground stance. Hey man, thanks for the follow on the Twitch channel. I appreciate that so much. Means a lot to me. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Uh, this guy, I mean, we have not much money left anymore. That's the problem we got. And you can also use aggressive stance. We have now a strong backline. And the frontline is tanky enough for them to not die. Can we pick anything up from the spellbook? Yeah, we can actually pick up the rallying horn. Which is going to make our units hit harder by 50%. If I'm not mistaken, yes. Let's use it on the, on the backline. Let's e-move, this way they're gonna automatically attack everything in their path. Arwen once again has to be careful, don't dive in too deep. Because losing her is gonna make us lose pretty much the game. You can build more and more resource buildings, because the more money you have, the better it is most likely, you know? Does she have also leadership or something? Uh, yeah. Units near Arwen gain armor, so pretty nice. So let's peel back a bit and fight ideally around the well. This way we can heal up even during the fight. Okay, we have three archers. It's, I don't know if this is gonna be enough, just in case something is gonna be going wrong. We can get even more of them on the field. Command point wise, we can actually get one or two more units on the field. And if you wanna go crazy, you can also get this building to level 3. It's gonna give you the chance to recruit those uh, special units. But they're also really expensive. And it, feel, it feels like we have not that much money, you know? That's the thing. Kill back. Arvin is level 3 now. Level 4 is gonna unlock. Glorfindel, Aragorn and the Hobbits are, have arrived 
Escort them across the fort. Okay, let's do this. Where are they? I know these parts. Okay, we need to be careful though. Do they have Elven Cloak? The answer is yes, they have Elven Cloak. And we have no more heal ability available, by the way, from the spellbook. So please keep that in mind. We have to be eventually extremely careful. Just wait here. Let them come to you. I mean, I think we are kind of safe. But let uh, Aragorn and the others fight them a little bit. They are faster than our heroes for whatever reason. Why is... Well, they are so fast. What the heck? Run, you fools. I mean, we have Aragorn's Atelas. And the first thing what we need to do is send our hobbits back. Because hobbits are extremely squishy. And if we lose any of them, game is over. Just like that. Okay. So, this, this, this. You go back, please. Why is Peregrine Took taking damage? Glorfindel, be careful. Peregrine Took? Who's attacking Peregrine Took? Okay. You also peel back a bit. Hold ground stance. Aragorn, you can also use... Actually, Aragorn, you can use aggressive stance. Let's heal up a bit. And you guys can get stealth too. Get them invisible. Archers, please do some something. We will need some more units, but the problem is we are command points gap. Let's use mist here to debuff them. And Glorfindel is now healthy again and can also spot the army. The victory, pretty much. And more units are coming. Holy quackamole. And even some ward packs and so on. Our hobbits are still invisible. That's great and nice. Let's use heal now. We don't need to use heal, I guess. They are also able to trample us down. Which is kind of meh. But always keep an eye on your heroes. That's the most important thing. And they are also healing up our time, you know? Because we have double well. And well is able to stack in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King. And this way, you can heal up a bit faster. We can't recruit any more units. We just need to stall and make a perfect front line. Like this, potentially. So the back line of us is going to be protected 24-7. Rallying Horn is going to be available very, very soon. And that's going to make our units generally stronger. Let's give them all right click on this one so they can use it automatically, which is called the Song of Filmway. And rallying Horn to make them deal 50% more damage too. Nice. Looks nice. I mean, yeah, as long as our heroes are safe, I think we are Gucci. And whenever we need, we can always bring some reinforcements. But in the meantime, we can get this building to level 3, just why not? And also get uh, some more resource buildings up on the field. To maximize the resource income, you know how it is. Okay, uh, he has to be careful. I don't want to risk the biscuit. What are those? It looks like Sauron. Some oh! Oh my goodness. This guy is... Is this Sauron or something? What is this? What is this? Looks like him. What is this monster? Holy moly. Yeah, he looks so strong, actually. Heal back, please. Hold ground stands. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Um, so, you know, nothing is going to be happening automatically. When you use aggressive stands, the units are going to automatically attack. Or your heroes. How tanky is this guy, please? What is ha what is happening? You will regret coming here. Extremely tanky. Our archers need one hour to kill them, actually. What is this? Can they regain health outside of combat? That's nice. Let's peel them back. Let's peel back. We have lost all our front line, unfortunately, but it's, it's fine. As long as we can keep our heroes protected. Okay. Uh, I think the last or the second last push is incoming. I mean, he's sending still many, many, many units forward. So we need to be kind of prepared. Okay, let's fight. Um, Glorfindel, be careful, please. Don't go all out. I'm actually curious if this is gonna heal up also our heroes. Looks nice, the animation. And she's almost level 4. I wish I could be able to see this uh, Loud Water's Fury. Would be nice, right? Oh, more units are coming. And we are not done yet. But now we have the special units uh, coming very soon. We are command points capped. And they cost a lot of command points, right? Yeah, 120. That's a lot, actually. So maybe we can sacrifice our front line because I would like to get them on the field just to see how strong they are. Building materials. Building materials. And we can't build here, unfortunately, but it's fine, it's fine. We don't need many more resources. I mean, the, it's not about resources, I guess, because they are also giving us the command points we need. Our front line is dead. 
Okay, they are here now. That's great. Uh, I can't definitely pronounce this name. <laughs> that's kind of too complicated for me. But they are looking dope. I think they are like the Galadrim warriors or uh, the Nolder warriors from the Elven faction in the Rise of the Witch King. The special units you are able to recruit. Let's use Hyde once again. And he's saying defeat the final weave. I got you. I got you. We can't build there because there is a troll there. And we can build one more here maybe. Building supplies coming. Building supplies coming. And it looks like we can't have more than 600 command points. Oh, be careful. Are those swordsmen or something? Rallying horn time. And this work packs though, they are able to trample. Don't draw attention. Don't draw attention. Oh, wait, please stay invisible. Okay. Should be able to deal with that, no big deal. Uh, Arvin can also. Oh, she has floods now. I want to see that. Oh, my goodness. Look what's coming. That's crazy. Let's use floods here. Just perfect situation, like in the lore, you know. Oh, the horses. The white horses trampling down the evil. Washing the evil away from this land. Okay, you can fight. And also Aragorn can fight now. You gotta be careful. We have heal from the spell book, but Arvin is extremely squishy, you know? Your command points kept all the time. Erendil. Okay. It's all I can master indeed, Aragorn, Aratorn's son. Oh, oh, the strong units are coming now. Oh, they can also fight with swords. Aragorn has to be careful. Aragorn is kind of tanky, but not tanky enough. These units are extremely powerful, guys. Let's use Atelas. Heal up a bit. Because these units, they don't take any damage from our uh, from our normal units. For whatever reason, let's focus down these units first. Armored. What is the name of the units? Armored Castellan or something. I don't know, but he's hitting like an absolute truck. Should be able to protect ourselves. Help of Glorfindel. And also we can use in the last possible second this one. Let's use it. There we go. I think we've killed everything, right? Uh, what else we need to do? Am I missing out something? Do we need to creep this trolley or something? Uh, defend the forts of Brunen. I mean, yeah, we did it. We did it. What else? What else? What else? What else? The ground here is not suitable. Coming through. I mean, I don't know what we are supposed to do now. Let's leave the hobbits behind. Let's leave at least two of them also behind, kind of bit. Oh, okay, okay, back, 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 back. Abort mission. Oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> okay, now I see you. We have no pikemen too. Actually, let's send all our heroes back. I don't want to lose them. Okay, let's use this. Give them heavy armor too. We have so much money now. And these units are hitting like a truck. You see the silver ton arrows? We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we managed to save Frodo Baggins. And we also managed to win this mission. To complete this mission. Be gone, fell things. Hello things. Fall into the void that awaits you and your master. And there comes the floods. The white horses chasing down the black riders just like that. And GG's well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video. Tomorrow we're gonna continue with the next mission. Until we are done with the Fellowship of the Ring. So we are gonna be ready for the second part of the campaign which is going to be based on the two towers from the Lord of the Rings. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care of yourselves and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace.